In this video, we will present an overview of the functionalities and information contained in Box 1 of Kezar. With Box 1, the user can manage the substances to be assessed and check the information related to its properties contained in the Euclid file. When starting the assessment process for a certain substance with Kezar, all the information needed for exposure assessment and risk characterization should be available in the endpoint summaries in Euclid. Please note that Kezar 2.0 works only with Euclid 5.4 or later version files. The assessor imports that information from Euclid into Kezar. The information imported includes the identity of the substance, its physicochemical and fate properties, which includes general physicochemical properties, biodegradation, bioaccumulation, abiotic degradation, and adsorption coefficients, physicochemical hazards, environmental hazards, including the PBT assessment, the hazard for aquatic organisms, for air, for terrestrial organisms, and for predators, and human health hazards, which are, for workers, hazards via inhalation route, dermal route, and hazards for eyes, and for the general population are hazards via inhalation route, dermal route, oral route, and hazards for eyes. In the physicochemical sections, the assessor can see the properties that are imported from the endpoint summaries in Euclid and the values used in the assessment. In the last column, it is indicated which properties are used by the exposure estimation plugged-in tools in Kezar, like ECTOC TRA worker, ECTOC TRA consumer, and EUSES. The information on environmental and human health hazards includes the PBT assessment and the relevant PNEX and DNELs and or standard explanations when no PNEC or DNEL has been derived. Such hazard conclusions imported from Euclid determine in Kezar the scope of the assessment. In this example, we can see all the hazard conclusions for the different compartments. PNEC values are available for all compartments. There is no hazard identified for air, and there is no potential to cause toxic effects in higher organisms in the food chain. Regarding the human health hazard, in this example, there is a DNL for long-term systemic effects, there are no acute systemic effects identified, and the substance is classified for skin and eye irritation. Kezar will automatically determine the scope of the assessment based on the information imported from Euclid. In the scope of the exposure assessment, the assessor can verify which are the environmental protection targets or the routes and types of effect for which no exposure assessment is required. The assessor will also see the type of risk characterization, quantitative or qualitative, that will be required in box three. In this example, a quantitative assessment is required for all the protection targets except secondary poisoning where the assessment is not needed. As the substance is classified for skin and eye irritation, a qualitative assessment is needed. In addition, it was concluded that the qualitative assessment should also be carried out for the inhalation route, as local effects cannot be excluded in the absence of data. Kezar allows the assessor to work on different substances and different chemical safety assessments at the same time. It is possible to import as many Euclid files as necessary and then search and select the substance of interest in the database. Once a substance is selected, the assessor can start the assessment or import one already available for that substance. This was the overview of box one of Kezar, where the assessor can import the substance information needed for their assessment from Euclid and identify the scope of the assessment required.